By the way, I did that lefty and I'm going to mirror the video now so everything you see is right-handed. In this video, I'll talk about these three algorithms and this is the one I use and I'll first show you the finger tricks for it. Start with the block on the back left and both thumbs on front. Regrip so that your thumb's on the bottom. Then here after the R2, make sure you push along either with your index finger or your ring finger. I use my ring finger like this. And then here either ring finger back like that or middle finger here like this. And altogether it would look like this. So I recently switched to this one, but I've known all three of these algorithms for many years. And during all those years, I've always thought that the standard one was the best one, at least for me. I think the reason why I stuck with the same Bprim for all this time was because it actually was the best one for me. And that changed when Better Cubes came out. Here is an Aulong V1. So I'm gonna try this algorithm now. It's actually a lot harder to do this, and I can see why I would have preferred the standard algorithm because it's just much more consistent. And why didn't I include it in this video? That's because, well, I forgot about it. So let's quickly look at a few of the key points in each of these algorithms. In the standard algorithm, you begin with a regrip like this. And then after the first four moves, you rotate, and that means repositioning basically all of your fingers. But the standard algorithm is only 14 moves as opposed to 16 for the other two. So it is shorter and it can be done extremely quickly. So just because there is a rotation doesn't mean it's automatically the worst. Now for this V perm, it has gained a lot more popularity recently. And I've been shown that the finger tricks are supposed to be done like this right here instead of doing it like this, which I've always done it like that. Instead, you should put your thumb here and do this drag finger trick while doing that. I've always found that to be pretty difficult. So I've never been able to do that consistently. And after some practice, I really don't see that being faster than the standard for me. Also, because it starts the same way, it has that regrip in the beginning as well. And then here we have one regrip as well, but a very small one. For the one that I use now, it begins like this, which is no regrip, and then one regrip here and no regrips for the rest of the algorithm. So if you just look at move count, regrips, and rotations, it looks like the one that I showed is probably the best one. My best on this is sub one, and my best on the other two are about 1.2. Also, because you can start it with both thumbs on the front, it makes some finger tricks a lot simpler. When you use either of the other two, if it's like this, you have to do a U move to begin and then start the algorithm. Now, this isn't the best way to do it because then you'll have to regrip right after it. And instead, once you recognize, you should do either this, so you can regrip while you do that, and that saves you a pause. Or you can do the regrip right away and start like this, and then just go into the algorithm with your other finger. But for the one I'm using now, you can use any U move in the beginning and it'll be fine because both thumbs start on front. For example, U, and beginning with U2 really works with either hand you do U2 with. So yeah, I have a new VPerm algorithm, and I don't like VPerm at all. It is a faster and more reliable algorithm for me than before, but it's still VPerm. Okay, so after I finished editing, I just came up with either the smartest or the stupidest thing I've ever come up with. So um, the regrip right here after the first two moves is bad because obviously regrips are bad because they take time, uh, but if you do the regrip while doing other moves, then it doesn't take any time. So what if you did the first two moves while you regripped? And that would be like this. So if you just use your pinky like one-handed turning, then you get the first two moves while you regrip. So you could just regrip while you do the first two moves like that. And I don't know, you kind of have to set your finger over and it's not already there, but this could be good, I'm not sure. Like this has potential, but it could also just be really stupid because that is just a really unreliable way to save like a really small amount of time. Hmm. So I hope this helped. If you want to see all of my PLLs except for this V perm that I changed, you can go check my PLL video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.